Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, I'm back with another fashion show. Okay, so this time around, the subject of the strap fashion show is this Tissot PRS 516, a uh, some sort of a racing uh, style watch, just with watch uh, produced by Tissot. Maybe I don't know, maybe ten or eight years back. So this is the version, the three hand version. The PRS five one six also comes with quite a lot of other versions such as chronograph and all that stuff. And at the back we have this beautiful case back showcasing this um ETA2893 and uh, covering that rotor is this steering wheel style with the uh, with, with in, uh, PRS516 engraved in it. Alright, so let's do a quick swatch check today. I am wearing the, uh, you guys haven't seen this one before, but if you guys are following my Instagram, so you know that I have this tuna or steel dive homage to the Seiko Tuna. I have yet to review this particular piece. Please stay tuned if you want to see my full review for this awesome, awesome piece. Right, so let's get back to the fashion show. Right, so this is the um, bracelet that came with the watch. As I mentioned in my full review for this uh, watch, I don't really like the butterfly clasp on the bracelet. Overall, it is good but not uh, really that good in my opinion because you can see that we have quite a lot of you know uh, flex here and the butterfly class I don't really like it and yeah it's quite difficult to get a perfect fit for this uh, bracelet right so let's see what do we have here so first up we have this um, this normally I will show you 10 of my options for the, for each watch that I do the fashion show review so this time around I've got 10 style that you can choose if you have something if you have this watch or something similar to it so the first straps are this seat belt needle straps from blue sharks dot blue or is it blue shark straps.com or is it blue shark.com i can't remember but i will leave a link to the <laughs> to if to the to the website if you are considering getting one of these right so now uh, you have two types of seat belt style straps so this is the thicker version of 1.5 millimeters but i do prefer a much thinner version which is this one they call this a samurai strap i think yeah so this is how it looks and let's see how it uh, so of course this one has this rectangular holes here and this super duper soft um, seat belt material nylon material with, with the 1.2 millimeters of thickness and uh, is fixed sorry a movable keeper here and a fixed keeper here and of course we have that um, blue shark logo on the uh, on the buckle here right so let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist all right so this is how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist so you can see that this bold red color in the middle of the strap plays really really nice with this um, second hands of the tso 5 uh, prs1 516 and you can see at here uh, down here said i am i am at the third hole so if you guys have a uh, maybe 8 to 8.5 inch wrist so you are definitely uh, good to go right so there are still plenty of straps left for your wrist and you can see that when I tuck it in so there is still quite a lot of material and yeah I think it looks awesome on uh, this uh, particular watch especially highlighting that um, the red second second hands there right so if you are to choose this uh, black and red version so it's a bit too dark in my opinion so yeah i you know what i, I kind of growing tired of black colored watches but yeah still this is how uh, it looks and it looks awesome in my opinion right so let's go to strap number two which is this latest um vintage style or vintage bond um elastico strap from love watch strap so another company from singapore so thank you very much for providing me with this strap for review so of course we have this marine national style um elastic straps here so this material is very very uh, sturdy it's uh it's for me it is one of the best and affordable in the 
industry right now but yeah of course some people might say that these are imitation or whatever from the original you know what if you like these things just go ahead and buy it. if you don't just you know what get yourself your the real thing for me i don't really mind it as long as it is good it doesn't uh it doesn't you know what it doesn't break um, in one week or two it's fine by me right so again when i put it on my wrist you can see that the laugh watch strap signed buckle is here so this is the adjuster and this i just really <laughs> love the comfort that this style of strap gave me and i could wear this all day long right so you see that again the red second hand is being highlighted by this uh, red um, color in the strap and yeah i just love those you know material this is, is really really high quality stuff all right so this one is the gray bond or the new bond style i've had this for about one year already and you can see that it is still very 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 sturdy nothing uh, breaks and it is not stretch out such as the cheap ones from that if we can get from aliexpress and yeah i highly suggest that if you want to go for something affordable for this elastic type of strap go for the ones made by lovewatchstrap.com right so yeah let's that, let's see that again and yeah let's go to strap number three which is this super reliable sail cloth sail cloth strap from i want a strap.com so i if you guys follow this channel i've had this for about i think three or four years and uh, already and as you can see here the holes are still okay the still the stitching are still okay nothing breaks as yet and of course it's a bit um it's a bit uh you know what uh hard to bend but trust me it is uh, good and it, when you have already used it for a while it will follow the shape of your hand or the shape of your wrist and we have a keep a fixed keeper here and a movable keeper here unfortunately there's no sign uh, i want a strap.com but i can't really imagine how he would do it but anyway so anyway so i have the first uh, first version first generation of uh, first version the second generation has the um, quick release pin so it is in really helps in my opinion when you want to swap out strap that uh, as quick as possible and on the uh, buckle here we have a brush uh, sorry a polish finishing here and a brush finishing so kind of give it a sporty look in my opinion and the buckle is not too big not too small just nice and when you put it on your wrist it's a bit small right so this is on my wrist so you can see maybe up to seven inches uh, if you have maybe maximum up to 7.5 inches so if you have an eight inch wrist so you might want to ask um, Clement from I want a strap.com if he has a, a product that will suit your wrist size right so I just love this two piece cell cloth strap and um, because it fits nicely to the to my wrist and the most important thing is this thing is waterproof uh in if you let's let's say you wait you use a magneto straps right and you get it wet so you have to wait for the strap to dry before you are comfortable to use again to use it again but on this style of cell cloth strap when you get it wet just grab a tissue or a towel whatsoever just wipe, wipe it and you are good to go right so this this is why i love this strap right so let's go to strap number four which is this super duper cool um what do you call this <laughs> i totally forgot the name ah harry's tweet strap so harry's tweet strap from vario singapore so i just love this um a bit peculiar a bit um strange or a bit uh, for me it's innovative right so you're using a tweet strap on a watch and i think it looks awesome so i i think vario is the only uh, website or only strap maker in our car uh, in the uh, in the watch industry that is doing this uh, tweet uh, this strap from tweet and of course we have the vario sign logo here uh, you can see that this keepers one is fixed one is uh, movable and it's a bit too thick but yeah you can't really help it because you're using tweet here guys so okay so at the back we have this harry's tweet logo here 
and we have a vario sign logo here all right so this strap is also uh it's water resistant but of course once you get it wet it's going to take a while for it to dry out before you have you can use it again and yep the thing here is if it is wet it will not uh damage as easy as your normal leather strap so this is how it looks on my wrist check that out it gives this watch a very very unique uh, look in my opinion and yeah i think uh, that looks awesome and gives it a bit of a different look and yeah <laughs> right so let's go to strap number five which is my <laughs> very very seasoned uh cola uh, col, uh what do you call this venezia venezia from venezia leathers italian leather strap from colarep uh, italy so yeah i've had this for maybe about six years already and you can see that it has all the scratches and marks that you would find after a while and this is a an amazing thing because nothing breaks after six years and you can see that uh, it's spelled here Vera Pelle made in Italy so uh, of course we have this stitching on top and stitching at the buckle here and yep it is a you know what TGV loves it I could not uh, stand it when he say uh, normal, normally TGV or from the Urban Gentry channel will, would recommend this strap for any watch enthusiast and yes I've tried one and i haven't regret my decision ever since it is a very very nice product um albeit a bit expensive <laughs> maybe for me at least it's a bit expensive but yeah you get what you pay right okay so this is how it looks on my 6.75 inches on this tso prs 516 damn that this letter feels really really nice All right so let's go to strap number six which is this whole wind leather from nomad watch watch works All right so if you don't want to wait quite a long time for your colare venezia to come all the way from italy to malaysia why don't you give these guys at nomad watch works uh, a, a a try and get one whole win uh, leather this is of course a tannery in the usa um you can see the stamp uh Hawin leather usa over here and a nomad watch works uh, stamp down here of course the i i just love this um leather very very soft and supple so and of course we have this very very useful quick release pins here and a minimal stitching on top and again a minimal stitching at the bottom here and you can see that i've had this for about six months already and still nothing breaks as yet so this is a a hallmark of a high quality leather and uh, but shamely the buckle is not really anything, anything special but yeah you can just swap it out for something that you like right so this is how it looks on my uh, 6.75 inch wrist again right so yep i am on the third hole so obviously if you guys have a maybe wrist size of about 7.5 inches you still can uh, use this strap but i don't think if you guys have eight inch wrist size uh, <laughs> it's a bit too short maybe it, this is tailored for asian people i'm not really sure but if you do get one for yourself do ask the seller the website if they have something bigger for your eight inches wrist so this is how it looks on the tso prs 516 you know what black matches every single color dial uh, of watches in my opinion and this is a great buy right so let's go to strap number seven which is this mesh bracelet from strap code so i'm not really sure whether strap code still make this or not but i've bought it for about four years uh, back um maybe at that time it cost about 28 US dollars shipped all the way from uh hong kong i think from uh, hong kong to malaysia and maybe nowadays they are selling for 30 us dollars i'm not sure but yeah I, I will of course give you the link and shame uh unfortunately i don't really have discount code uh, with strap code so with all the other straps maybe i will uh, give you the discount code 
that uh, for 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 website that you know what that give me a discount code right so <laughs> strap code I don't really think they collaborate with anybody on giving discount codes but yeah still this is how it looks on the PRS uh, Tissot PRS five one six of course we have this uh, security lock here and just click it here and click there and boom we are good to go right so for me mesh bracelet is really the way to go if you want to you know what to use some bracelet that looks classy and vintage and at the same time you don't really want to add quite a lot more weight to your watch and uh, mesh bracelet is really uh, is really, really cool in my opinion right so let's go to strap number eight this very very cool um what do you call this uh, rivets vintage style bracelet from masswatch.com so i've had this uh, bracelet together and uh, it came together with the uh, mass irukanji watch that i've reviewed somewhere in uh, december last year and i think this uh, bracelet looks really nice on this racing uh, style uh, watch so of course we have this uh, brush finishing here and polish finishing at the side and that cool uh, rivet style uh, uh, rivet style at, at at the side of the bracelet and of course we have this um, what do you call this mill clasp here and very very firm and uh, clip the clip there and safety uh, lock here and we have this six micro adjustment so that it would fit quite a lot of wrists and yeah other than looking good on your Tissot PRS 516 or any other watches for that matter right so this is how it looks on my wrist right so from the bottom there there is the MAS MAS watch logo down there and just to give you a very very slow uh, roll wrist roll so that you can appreciate how it looks on the Tissot 516 PRS 1516 right I think it looks really really nice in my opinion right so let's go to strap number nine which is this Jubilee bracelet that I've got uh, about two years back um, from AliExpress so this is uh, this features a 316 L stainless steel of course we have the polish and middle links here and brush uh, outer links and and of course this is a jubilee it is going to flex that <laughs> much but yeah and this one has this rolex style uh relic style uh, clasp here this scissor clasp inside here and the locking mechanism that snap that sounds really really nice and when you want to open it just flick this one and flick this one and we have this rolex style adjustability here so that you can move in and out like so lock it in boom you are good to go right so i think this one is good for you guys who has maybe up to eight inches wrist as well and you can see the uh, I, that is a bit too loose let's just tighten it a bit more so you can just go further down like so and boom you are good to go right so okay on the fly on the go or on the fly adjustment so i think this um Tissot <laughs> uh, racing style watch looks good on the jubilee as well if you guys don't think so please do <laughs> leave a comment down below right so let's go to the strap uh, the, the last strap that i think uh, suits this watch uh the best right okay so that strap would be this silicon racing strap from or racing style strap from blue shark straps.com so you can see that again the red color of the second hand plays really really nice with this stitching on the strap and this um, red uh, not really an opening so this is basically a two tone uh, two tone silicone strap you can see that the material on top is black and at the bottom is uh, is red and we have this curved here so norm normally for silicone strap it is straight but this one already have some curve to it so it helps uh, the watch it helps the watch to sit 
much much more comfortably on your wrist and yeah that is cool in my opinion and we have these two floating keepers here and the blue shark sign logo uh, on the buckle here and when you put it on the wrist it is going to hug your wrist very very nicely and you can see that this strap is quite long in my opinion so if you guys have a maybe 6.5 inch wrist uh, you are good to go but if you have some uh, if you are smaller than that uh, i don't think this strap is for you right so and of course because this is maybe made for americans or europeans you can see that i have quite a lot of straps more and maybe it can fit guys of up to 8.5 inch wrist and yeah that is how much it's <laughs> how much straps left on my uh, on this on this watch and i think this is the best looking strap for the tissot prs 516 because it gives that racing look look uh, with, with this red color second hand and this red uh, tone here not that much of red but still it looks much much more racing uh, style in my brain of course this thing is silicone so it's gonna it's gonna it's trap all quite a lot of lint and dust you just have to wash it uh, every now and then and you are good to go right so there you have it guys a 10 selection of straps on bracelet or leather strap that is uh, available in my collection for you to consider whenever you want to spice up your strap game with your current watch collection if you do have this the stimul is uh, this tissot prs 516 or something similar to it you might uh, find this useful for you to choose and yeah this is just my idea you maybe you have a lot more style of strap that you think that is um uh, suitable for this particular watch please go ahead and give me a comment down below right so if you guys like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to push the bell notification twice until next time stay safe bye bye